Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Today's episode 5, and I've got an awesome episode planned for you guys. But before that, we gotta get into the question of the day, and it's a good one. Anyway, so Minecraft would introduce lore and quests and bosses into the game, but before you could unlock them, you have to sacrifice your elytra for good. Do you give up your elytra for those in-game quests and fun items and things like that? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to know what you guys think. If you enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications when the videos come out. Let's do it. All right, guys. So today we are going to start off by making a villager breeder. Now, you're probably wondering, Jevin, why did you make it in this biome rather than where you live in the snow biome? Well, actually... I am considering moving right there. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Not to mention, um, I got to thinking about living in the snow biome, and I was like, what if we place water down and it freezes every single time? So not cool. We're not doing that. We may move. I'm, I can't decide yet. Anyways, so we're up here. We are on level 140 right now because we need to place water down so we can have a water canal. But before we can do that um from this center block right here we need to go over uh three on each side this is going to make this platform seven by seven just like so now that one's already got it come to this side um because the villager breeders for 1.14 are actually really really simple um i thought i was gonna have to make some kind of like big fancy device when really it's just a couple farmer villagers as uh, with some composters and just a few little water canals so um we'll need to build up a barrier block on the side just like so but that won't be too much i'll do that later on i'm not really worried about that so this will be our platform and then so now we need to go down i've already got uh something is what is that dude there's something down there what is that uh no idea what that is <laughs> oh my god what is that dude what is seriously what is that uh oh i'm dead yes that's a wandering trader by the way good thing i <laughs> oh my goodness dude i just i epic failed that one yep i'm dead no i couldn't figure out what that was hello mr wandering trader you are selling coral blocks blue dye oxide daisies fern melon and gunpowder no, thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right. So now that, okay. Now that we have massively failed, we need to take the kelp that I have. Let me put my armor back on, although I don't think it's going to really matter too much. Uh, and we just need to make a coral setup going all the way to the top. And my chest over here, I've got soul sand and we'll make a platform. And then I'm going to grab some villagers from over there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm probably going to get some brick, I think. I need to set up a little smelter here. That way we can make some stone brick for up there. So we got a good game plan. Ooh, hello. I'm going to definitely take that. Thank you. Anyways, this guy's a psychopath. Yep, definitely a psychopath. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god, he's nuts, man. Okay, guys, I think we are ready. We've got to put this guy in here like so, so he doesn't run off then let's build a wall so he can't get out now this is the tricky part right i have got to get him out of there without hitting him i think the easiest way to do that is i'm gonna have to probably jump down i think Whew, okay now let's push him okay he's gonna probably be difficult i also went and got some glowstone i've got my compactors a ton of beds glass and stone brick all right i need you to get up there man so you're going to make this difficult for me, huh? Okay, let me... I can't... Okay, I got to get him out of the corner there. There we go. All right, so up the ladder you go. I'll go with you. So up here, we need to do a few things. And I just realized I forgot a hoe. Crap. All right, anyways, not the point. So what we're going to do is we're going to put composters here, here 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 that will make these guys all farmers okay guys so i went and got um my seeds and i made a wooden hoe so i've got all of our crops planted now for some reason 
That side right there decides to unho itself. Let's go do the other side too. It's right there. All right. So put that there. There. Okay. So that's all taken care of. Now we need to make it to where the baby villagers can get out of here. So that's going to be a pretty simple thing to do. We're going to put a piece of glass right here. And then we are going to break two pieces. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? So the villagers need to see this as a full block. So what I think we'll do is we'll probably just use our trap doors that we made there. And then I'll have to go down. I think that'll work. I think the baby villagers can notice that as a, a way to move. So get rid of that. So the villagers need to get out of here. That way the villager cap is not taken up. There we go. All good to go. Let's get these guys out of the way. There's only one thing left to do, guys, besides making these guys breed, which we'll just need to give them some food. Put that right there. Get rid of that. Get this on the side. There we go. Okay, so the villagers should be able to breed. Uh, the babies should be able to get out. So now we need to place our beds down. So beds will have to circle this thing. And that's how the villagers uh, kind of realize that it's a village. So get that. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Whew. All right, uh, there. Now, I don't know about the placement. I don't think the placement exactly matters. But I just want to make certain that I have enough beds here. So we're going to place as many as we can down. There we go. I may not even have enough. Okay, there. I think we need two more. There. So we're like one bed short, which is fine. I can go get my bed from downstairs if I need to. Um, so just a few things left to do. I want to cover this in glass. That way no mobs can get in here. Well, I guess it wouldn't really matter. Well, the only other thing we really need in here is some light. Um, where could we put light? I guess we could put lights uh, along the walls. So just one last thing I've got to do. I've got to remove all the dirt. Ooh, that's a problem. We may want to make it to where they cannot break the dirt. So let's do that real fast. Put that right there. I didn't even notice that. We want slabs. So make some slabs. Okay. Yeah, totally. All right, guys. So a few things made another hoe. And I also went and got some carrots from the village. So let's go ahead and till all this up and get this all replanted so they can't mash it down anymore. I think that's all of them. I also fixed another bed up here and I grabbed one more or two more just in case. I think we're good to go. The only thing left to do is to make the collection chamber and feed these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to split these in half. So let's go there. See if he'll pick it up or not uh doesn't see okay well he's harvesting so we know that he's good there i may have to actually jump down there oh i don't want to jump down there pick him up all right let me throw these to this guy did he take those he did take them okay so now we have got to go down and okay grab some more glass Finally, I've got to give these to the other guy. It's hard walking on beds, man. Okay, took them. So now they're both fed, which means they should hopefully start breeding. I would like to see some breed hearts before I go, but I can't stay up here very long because we need to make the collection chamber, which is going to be pretty easy, actually. Um, We may have to revisit these guys in a minute. Didn't really seem to be interested in each other right now who knows how long it'll actually take to get them to breathe though all right so i'm on the ground now um the block that we have broke out right here is the corner so if we want to make this proper i think we need to go nine blocks so three four five six seven eight nine and then two three four five six seven eight nine that should give us a one block outside radius that when the villagers fall down, they should be good to go. So let's remove the inside real fast. And I've died like four times on this thing, so don't judge me, okay? 
<laughs> and I probably will need to be within the chunk radius um, to get those villagers to breed up there. Otherwise, they probably won't breed. So we're probably going to need to find a spot in between somewhere. Okay. There we go. All right. So now it's just a matter of this. Pretty simple stuff. Grab some more buckets of water. Now, since they're falling towards the edge, just like that, it should, yeah, they should just flow right into the middle. And we can make a holding chamber uh, underneath of there. So something like that, right? So now it's more or less a waiting game to see if they're going to breed. All right, guys. So I am up at the villager thing, kind of just watching them to see whether or not they are going to breed again. I think they need to give each other food. Now, since these are farmer villagers, they will actually automatically make bread or they will compost it, I think. I'm not sure that they can compost, though. Um, the composting might be blocked. Let's remove that and just see what happens. See if they can tell the difference. Doesn't really seem like it. But then again, I'm going to ruin this entire farm now because of that. Okay, let me fix that. Yeah, I just, I thought that, um, oh, no, you don't. You get back down there, buddy. Okay, I got to fix that before they get out of there. Crap. <laughs> Not doing good right now, people. Not doing good. Let's fix this. There we go. Okay, I don't think I have a hoe. Oh, I do have a hoe. Clutch hoe find. There we go. Okay, so now, uh, nether portals are pretty easy to link especially on the vertical side of things. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make one right here. So let's get rid of this. We'll build our portal and we'll take our coordinates down and go down like 50 blocks or so. So let's see, that's three on top. There we go. So light that. So we are on level 140. So in the nether, only X and Y, or I don't think, I think that's Z, right? I don't remember. No. Okay. So it's uh, X and Y. X and Z are the divide by eight. Y is by itself. So when we go in here, we'll probably be pretty high up in the nether. I imagine we should only have to go down about 60 blocks to fix this situation. So let's see if we can get these portals to link to each other and see where we're at when we come in here. I'm getting shot at oh it actually linked to my um to my other nether portal wow that other nether portal so far away though hmm there's no way those coordinates are right let me go back through and see where it puts me i may have to break that other portal it's probably gonna put me at the igloo yeah, that's a huge problem. Okay, we got to get rid of this. Let's break this. There we go. So now we know where that's at. Um, so I have to run all the way back over there and try to get the portal back in there now. Um, I didn't know it was going to... They're, they're not even really that close, though. That's weird. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to try to do this and I'll be back. All right, turns out nether portal linking is completely broken. Not only did I not get them to link together, I tried like seven times <clears throat> taking coordinates, going to the specific locations, trying to make it like as best and like, you know, you know how you, if you would link it, if you're trying to be very exact, I had no luck. Another thing that I noticed is that this is off. If you were to go up straight up from right here, it's like off by easily two blocks. So let's go downstairs because I went and grabbed my lecterns. We want to see, is our guy? Oh yeah, he's definitely full on now. Okay, so the question becomes, will he see that? Oh, he will see that. Wow, that was fast. Okay. So what's your trade, buddy? Nothing there. All right. So let's remove that. And so these are, wow, dude, the villagers that are bred are so fast. Look at that. That's insane. Okay. So I want to see if we can get a decent trade, but the game plan here, obviously, is to get like, wow, so touch. That's 15 emeralds. That's not bad. The game plan is to get a bunch of villagers down here so I can do this like all at once. Oh, that's still so touch. Okay, there we go. So the game plan will be once we have a lot of villagers, 
we'll kind of have them in the walls so we can come down here and get a trade whenever we need to but i'm very very curious to see how the illagers are going to play a factor in the raids and everything because technically speaking now this is a village so i'm very curious to see what's going to happen okay Let's see if we can get some better trades here so power two here i'm going to stop putting this over here and i'm going to put this near me like right here okay nothing break that back i love this i love the fact that you can just simply change an enchantment no problem okay try it again here seems like the paper trade is always going to be 24. that one flame eh and i know that doc found an exploit to make the village uh books one cost i don't know how to do that i don't want to mess up my villagers just yet so wow it's yeah you kind of get a lot of the same trades there we go flame again so all right well the game plan here because i know that the pillagers will eventually show up um i want to make this place a little bit more fortified um we need to make this square to that up there and matter of fact i'm gonna go back up there right now and see if our villagers have started breathing yet because um i may need to make them have more food i think that's the problem that we're running into um because once i actually activated their trades or not their trades but their like their breeding capabilities they tr they bred so fast but now that they're lacking food i think that's probably the problem and i think that issue is caused by us not being in the area like we're in the same chunk but we're so far away that the crops aren't growing maybe so we'll see what happens that or i guess their inventories could probably be full too it's one of those things see how far off this is so put that right there so let's just watch these guys for a second they don't seem to be i guess there's no crops to harvest either interesting you know i have an idea hmm, i don't have any glass with me i'm just gonna have to do this for now got an idea people i'm gonna move this put it right there now the thing that i want to see is i want to see if the villager is will be able to compost that would clear his inventory that or they just don't have inventory because i don't have any other food on me so he sure is looking at me all fancy like nothing yeah i think they need more food that or we just need to get more villagers up here what i think i'll probably end up doing is uh actually let's do that right now it's not a bad idea let's open or close these so we can make sure that we get at least two more villagers up here the breeding process will go much faster that way so can't hit you there we go so yeah once we have two more villagers they'll breed really fast then we can make literally all the books that we'll ever need ever and it'll be just fantastic i'll love every second of it <laughs> okay so guys i think that's probably going to do it for today's episode of let's play uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn those notifications when the videos come out this is i jevin peace out everybody